Hi everyone and welcome to Feywood. So this is the next part of my costume. I wanted to create something that looked um, sort of mystics like for my dark crystal costume because I was trying to incorporate both Skeksis and mystics. So I wanted something quite tribal um, and I had all these leather scraps and things so I've created a leather skirt that um, sits at the front and back um, on elastic and put these bits of wood with beads and you know leather straps and things around them as well to make them look quite primitive. I also popped on these feathers. Um, the feathers looking a little bit beat up because this is actually after I came back from the ball and that's the um, prayer stick that I showed just before. Um, that's a separate video, so if you want to see how I made that, make sure to check that video out. So I really wanted to use up the scraps of things that I had on hand, so I went through all my stuff for that. And then went back to the book um, to see what sort of imagery they had for the mystics and to try and get some inspiration for what I wanted to do. So looking through all of my stash, I had a lot of these leather off-cut pieces that I got. They were secondhand sort of pieces from eBay. Uh, I think from someone who's either making furniture or clothing or something out of them. Um, and some of the bits and pieces had little jaggedy bits on them, which uh, I wanted to smooth out because it didn't really look natural. It looked, um, it did look like off-cuts. So. For the bits like that, I just went and sort of smoothed bits out and tried to make them into um, either triangly shapes or just try and cut off any bits that looked like they had chunks taken out of them. I didn't mind if it looked a bit natural, but otherwise was trying to smooth that out. Um, and then I didn't have enough leather for the base, so I had this piece of material um, that I thought was a good size and just wanted to have it come to a point at the front so it's almost like a tunic um, trying to emulate the bottom of like a tunic style so I wanted both the legs um, to be showing so that's why I didn't want a full skirt I just really wanted I guess basically a flap at the front and back um, now I wanted to make sure that it blended in and this was going to be all brown so I used just a spray on um, fabric dye like I mixed up a bit and sprayed that onto the fabric and with the leather I started by sewing the pieces from the bottom of the um, skirt or tunic and worked my way up from there so that each time I was ensuring to cover the stitches with the next piece. I really didn't want any of the stitches to be showing um, in it because, you know, I'm using a sewing machine, it doesn't look very authentic. So um, you can see the way it looks there, it's all overlapping each other, and then I would just, you know, get the pieces and work out where I wanted to position the next bit and sew that on. I was also trying to be really careful to cover up all of the material underneath because I really didn't want that to be showing. Now I wanted this to be uh, an easy piece to put together so I just wanted to put it onto a piece of elastic that I could um, you know, pop over my hips and quickly get into. Underneath this I actually wore tights, um, that's why, and the tights had some really nice detailing on them which is why I didn't want a full skirt that went all the way around. Uh, plus I felt like this looked a bit more um, warrior-like. I also had a top that was going over the top um, of this bit of leather skirt. So I didn't need the hem at the top to look neat or anything. So 
If you did need that, then you'd want to be a bit careful about that, of course. Now, see, I've taped a, a skewer to the elastic to help feed it through the loop that I've got there so that, because um, if you're trying to do that by hand, uh, it's a bit difficult to push it through. So using something like a skewer or something stiff to push the elastic through is a lot easier. And then I just used the sewing machine again to sew those two bits of the elastic together. Uh, obviously make sure that this is the right size for you, so I measured it to be the right size for my um, hips and waist. And you need enough stretch, of course, to um, put it on, but not too much that it's gonna fall off or anything. Now I really wanted this to look very aged, um, so one of the tricky parts was to try and work out how I could um, age this leather. And I tried a few different things. I tried the scalpel or um, you know Stanley knife technique, which worked out pretty good for the edges. Um, you can see I just sort of scraped it along the edges, but there's so many edges to do. Um, I also heard rubbing alcohol was a good way to age uh, leather and in Australia we don't usually have rubbing alcohol but the closest thing apparently is methylated spirits which is essentially just about the same thing. So I used methylated spirits and um, this wire brush and that worked out pretty well actually. Um, you still need to put in a fair bit of elbow grease though so it can take a little while. Uh, but you know just roughing them up a little bit makes all the difference uh, Otherwise, it, it just looks too fake too perfect. You really want it to look like It's been through the wars and you know, you've been Climbing on rocks and you know, I don't know rolling around in the dirt or something um, Now I didn't like the color too much as well and to really age it a bit more I put some more um, dye, fabric dye, just really watered down um, into a spray bottle and sprayed that onto the leather and I really feel like that looked a lot better because it made the colour a bit more uniform because I had my scraps of material were all different colours which was okay because it looked a bit rough that way as well but um, I liked this, it looked like staining on the leather um, it made it look dirty and more aged and I just you know used an old cloth and rubbed over the top of it until I got the colour that I really wanted. So you can see the colour is quite dark now compared to what it started out being. And I'm just making sure to spray underneath each flap as well, just so that, you know, it gets a bit more evenly coated. Um, now I wanted to add more to the staining effect and I had some um, shellac here that I just used a little skewer and splattered on top. And I like the effect because it, again, it just looks like it's been stained by something that's you know left splotches and things on the leather uh, then I had this really cool wool that was just really rough looking um, quite textured and I thought that would work out pretty cool like look really cool underneath some of the flaps and just sort of um, you know floating down so I put little tufts here and there of this wool. Originally I was thinking to put a purpley pink wool here and I had some 
but I just didn't like it. It didn't look um, like the Mystics and so I just kept with the really neutral colours. Um, now I actually picked up a few bits of wood on one of my walks that were quite smooth and been in the like been damp for a while so they became a bit um, soft and I was looking for like smoothish pieces of wood that looked like they'd been worked you know sanded and things um, and then just to get all the soft bits of wood off I used my um, little wire brush there and got all the loose bits off and then again with the shellac which gave it a lovely golden colour and just sealed the wood as well. So I think I had about three pieces of wood here um, and I also picked up a couple of uh, cockatoo feathers when I was walking and they worked out perfectly um, to go on this as well. And again, um, I have some leather scraps, so I cut some strips of leather that I could use um, to wrap around these bits. So basically I wanted to make sure I could um, have some of these pieces hanging from my skirt. And so what I did was cut a strip that I'd hot glue along the length of it and then put another little dob of hot glue and wrap another bit of leather around that um, to add strength but also for the way it looked as well. Now to add to that primitive look, I've got all these um, little shell beads and stone beads and then some beads that just looked a bit like stones and I thread those onto this um, uh, jute or hemp um, thread because again that had that real rustic look to it and I don't fill it up with beads, I just want the beads to be every so often and then you know wrap it so that the beads randomly sort of um, sit against the piece of wood uh, as I wrap it and hot glue the end you know solid to the piece of wood. So again, same thing, um, hot glue a piece of leather to hang it and then another bit of leather around that as well um, for the strength and, and for the look and thread some more beads that I can wrap around it. Um, you can see the prayer stick in the background there. Um, I was working on that at the same time. And as I mentioned, there's a separate video where I show you how I made that as well. Now of course if you don't have leather or you don't want to use leather, um, you could just use the thread, the sort of hemp um, cord and stick with that. 
and I think that would look perfectly fine um, or you could use a faux leather it just so happened that I had a lot of scraps because back when I started embroidery beadwork um, I would use leather before I found out about um, ultra suede which is like a man-made um, thing that you use on the back of beadwork because it doesn't fray and that's why I used leather because that didn't fray so I bought those off cuts at the time um, now some of the holes that I had in the um, you know bits of shell and things are a bit small so um, for this one I actually used a bit of wire to attach a, a shell and then wrapped that around the leather and then hid the wire with um, another piece of leather as you can see I'm hot gluing and wrapping that around. So the feathers are pretty simple it's just again one piece for hanging and then another piece wrapped around that to keep it nice and strong. So for this one I actually used a um, gold thread, I'd run out of the hemp thread and this one it's not really metallic so much as just a golden colour so I thought it would be fine um, as a replacement and some of the beads as I mentioned just weren't fitting through the hemp thread that I had so this worked out a bit better. Same thing, I just uh, wrapped it around and then um, glued it tight at the end and actually tied it around one of the beads as well. Now to make sure it was really strong, I um, actually sewed each of these bits into the um, skirt and I used my beading thread for that. Um, you could use any thread at all but just go through the leather and the material a number of times um, just to make sure that it really is secure. And if you do have um, needles, various needles, the best needle for going through leather is a sharp and that's a type of needle not a <laughs> I'm not saying a sharp needle, it's called a sharp. Um, so yeah, here's a closer look at it. This is the finished product and I made a little sling for my prayer stick to go in but there wasn't much to that so I didn't show that part. So I hope you've enjoyed this. Um, I've got much more videos to come hopefully soon and make sure you do hit subscribe and I'll see you all next time in Faywood. Bye guys.